guys. Another beautiful day here in Norway. Uh, the winter is finally here, as you can see. It's beautiful white. Oh man, it's like clouds. I love it. I want to tell you five things you need to know driving on the snow. Number one rule. Oh man, it's so sunny. Much better. So, because we are above the northern cycle, when the sun finally comes up in uh, February, mid January, uh, it's very low but it's very strong. So, get some pair of sunglasses. Number two, your skills. You need to know how can you drive. Have you driven on snow or have you not? If you haven't done it yet, be careful because it's different. But the conditions are different. Oh god. Everyone's driving so fast here, but they know what they're doing. Pretty much, don't drive too fast. This is not Tokyo Drift. Literally, you can do it because it's easier, but it's very dangerous. You can't define physics. If you drive too fast, you can't stop at the time. You're gonna hit someone, something, or you just end up next to the road. It's not fun because, as you can see, it's very deep. You can't get out with your car from here. So yeah, anyway, Ooh, oh shit. Rule number three, you need to use winter tires. So why is a winter tire? It's slightly different than summer tires, obviously. They are much softer. In Norway, you can use two types of tires. You have the normal winter tires, which uh, everyone's using in Europe. And you can get studded winter tires, which is fun and it's very safe, especially on icy Norwegian roads. Rule number four, you need to keep your car in perfect conditions because cold weather gonna test your car. Trust me, your oil, your brakes, your tires, well I talked about them, and also your uh, windshield uh, washing fluid. So yeah, never leave your house uh, with less than a half a tank of fuel. Why is that? Because if you get stuck somewhere and you need to wait someone to help you, and by the way, Norwegian people are so nice. Like if they see you in trouble and you need help, they're gonna help you. This is this is like a natural thing. It just comes from them. A guy just stopped me, uh, stopped the other minute. It's like, oh, everything's okay. It's like, yeah, okay, yeah, it's fine. I'm just making this video. So it's like, oh, yeah, okay, cool, sweet ass. But yeah, anyway, so if you need to wait for help and it's minus 10, 15 degrees outside, you want to wait in your car. But if your fuel tank is low, you can't do that because you're just gonna run out of fuel. Rule number five, and this is very important. If you go for a longer journey, obviously, if you don't go to your uh, grocery store or something, you don't need these type of things. But if you go for a longer journey in cold winter conditions, you need a blanket in your car. Why is that? Because if you again, if you have to wait or you're very cold, you can use it and it gives you a few extra hours before you, you freeze to death, pretty much. Sorry to say it like this, but it is how it is. Okay, and the plus one rule, because all my teachers always give us an extra question in test, just in case if we didn't know anything, have fun guys, this is like winter paradise, everywhere you look, beautiful mountains, forest, bears, moose, anything you can imagine, just, just look at the landscape, drive safe, have fun, see you in the next one.